A silver dollar is dropped from the top of a building that is 1,399 feet tall. We want to use the position function given to find the velocity of the coin at impact. Let's go ahead and work it out. We'll start by drawing a picture of the building. So there is our building and we are going to drop the coin from the building. The height of the building is given in the problem. It's 1,399 feet. So this height is 1,399. So in our position function, the initial position, S sub zero will be equal to 1,399. Because the dollar is being dropped, the initial velocity will be zero. So V sub zero is equal to zero. Let's go ahead and rewrite our equation. So S of T is equal to negative 16 T squared and V sub zero was equal to zero because the dollar is being dropped. So that's gone and S sub zero is 1399. Okay, now we just have to answer the question. We have to find the velocity of the coin at impact. So in order to do that, first we have to find out when the coin hits the ground. So we'll first find t, where t is the time the coin hits the ground. Once we know the time that the coin hits the ground, we can take the derivative of the position function, which gives us the velocity function, and just plug in the time. So let's think about how to find the time that the coin hits the ground. Well, when the coin hits the ground, the actual height is equal to zero. So we have our height function. So we just set S of t, which is our height, equal to zero. To solve this for t, we'll subtract 1399. So we have negative 16 t squared equals negative 1399. And divide by 16, that gives us t squared is equal to 1399 divided by 16. Take the square root of both sides. So we do get a plus or minus, but the minus is irrelevant because time can't be negative. So we end up with the square root of 1399 divided by 4. So after that many seconds, whatever number that is, the coin will hit the ground. To finish, we just need the velocity function. So the velocity is the derivative of the position function. And this derivative is really easy. Here you take the 2 and you bring it down. So you get negative 32t. And the derivative of 1399 is 0. So our velocity function is negative 32t. Now we'll just plug in the time. So V of the square root of 1399 divided by 4. That's equal to negative 32 times the square root of 1399 divided by 4. And if you put this in your calculator, it's approximately negative 299 feet per second. And that's it. I hope this helps.